Hello, everybody. Hello there. Welcome. Welcome to today's stream. So, first things first. I decided to try out this uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon personality quiz. I didn't need to full screen it so it fills the window. There we go. <clears throat> So yeah, this is basically just like when you play a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. You can do the normal quiz, which is to think what happens in the games. Or you can do the full quiz, every single quiz question in the uh, in the games. And this is created by a Twitter user named Rioni. You can see it right down here. And you, and you know, if you want to try that quiz yourself, it's in the chat. But if, uh, if you can't see it, then I'll have to uh, re... re share it because I still have it in my uh, clipboard so if you want to give it a try then you feel free to do that I feel like we need music but I think there will be music when we actually start the quiz I'm pretty sure that that was the case I did the 10 question one on Twitter myself you know Twitter forward slash Emil underscore heart you can see it right there I probably need to add my uh, discord as well to the uh, to this uh, overlay it's a basic overlay, but it is mine. Maybe one day I'll be able to afford a fancy alchemy-themed one. But we make do with what we can make ourselves, so... Without further ado, let's try the full quiz. 64 questions. There we go. I did think there'd be some music. Yeah. So, you're running a marathon, and at the start you fall flat on your face. What will you do? I'm not giving up yet, just give up, or start over. Or shout do over, <laughs> I guess. Um, I mean, you know, a marathon is a long distance race, so you know, there's plenty of time to catch up if you have a bad start. Just because you have a bad start doesn't mean you're not going to win, so uh... However, if this was me, I probably would have just, I would still do it, I'd just, you know, I wouldn't be all like, I'm still going to win, but I'd, I'd probably still do it, you know. I mean, a lot of the times marathons are for charity, especially for the uh, the regular person, so it makes sense to, uh... yeah, I'm not giving up yet. <clears throat> You're at a movie theater. What are you there to see? An action movie, a drama, or a romantic movie? To be fair, I, I've, I don't really go to cinemas. I don't really watch movies. In the cinema, um, I mainly go and watch the, the big anime ones, like One Piece Film Red I watched the other week. Great movie if you're a One Piece fan, by the way. I think you should check it out if you if you haven't already. And that was an action movie with drama. It'd have to be one of these two. I wouldn't say I'd go necessarily for a romance movie, but, you know, I did watch Your, your Name in the cinema, and that was kind of a romance movie. Uh, but I think... Any non-anime movies I've ever seen tend to be action. Although I did watch the Bob's Burgers movie. That was a while ago, actually. <laughs> uh, action movie, sure. So what's your studying style? Working hard every day, if I remember to. Just cover what I need to. I can't really do it alone. Now, I will be honest. I was never a very studious person, especially when it came to homework. I didn't really do all that much studying. I was a... Uh, I was very ill-disciplined. I probably still am, to be fair. Um, it would have to be I remember to or if I just covered what I need to. Although I couldn't say I could really do it alone either. Maybe someone to inspire me would have helped me. Um, I guess if I remember to because, you know, I'd always put video games first. You've been asked to do a difficult task. What will you do? Do it myself, ask someone for help, make someone else do it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's probably better to make someone else do it if you know you can't do it. I mean, that much is obvious, right? You don't want to just try it and fail miserably, and then they have to catch up and make up for your failing. You know what? I can't help but think maybe I should put auto blink on my VTuber. Maybe then I wouldn't have these random, like, single eye blinks whenever I turn too far to the left or right. Can be very annoying. 
I mean, if it's a difficult task, I would always help someone. I'd ask someone to help me. Are you truly sincere when you apologize? <laughs> of course, or that's not easy to admit. Doesn't it also depend? When you... I mean... I mean, I always feel bad, and I'll pretty much... Unless I'm, like, in a really bad mood, I won't really be sincere when I apologize. See, a lot of these questions aren't black and white, and yet they expect a black or white answer. But I guess in general I am very apologetic when I apologize. Do you think you have good study habits? Yes, no. Well, I never lose at sports. <laughs> no, I do not have good study habits. I'm not afraid to admit that. I just admitted it earlier in the quiz. There's a rumor around about a ghost haunting the school bathrooms. What do you do? Scary bathrooms or go in there anyway. I'd go in there anyway. I mean, if you if you go in there and something does spooky happen, then yeah, get the heck out of there. But other than that, no. Uh, I'd go in there anyway. Everyone's sharing a dessert and there's an extra piece. What do you do? Don't tell anyone. Let everyone know. First come, first served. I'd let everyone know and ask if they wouldn't mind if I wanted it. If I wanted it, of course. I'd let everyone know. I ain't that selfish. I like to think I'm not anyway, but, but you know, you guys are the judge here, not me. How are your mornings? Ugh, my mornings are generally awful, especially on the early shift at work. I only get like five hours sleep, and it's just, oh, it's horrible. And I'm always in a rush because I'm trying to get ready in like 10 minutes. I have so much to do in 10 minutes. I somehow do it as well. Amazing, I know, right? Everyone around you is laughing hard at something you think is pretty boring. What do you do? Nothing really. <laughs> pretty obvious. If I don't find it funny, I'll just be like, eh, whatever. You want to reveal that you like someone a whole bunch. What do you do? Show it a little by playing together. Make it obvious by playing a prank. State it clearly for all to hear. I keep it to myself. It's too risky. I'm always the bottom one. Always the bottom one. If you were to describe me as a uh, type, I'm, a, I'm probably a bottom. <laughs> you take that how you want to. I'm not one to judge. You're on a stroll when a TV crew pounces on you for an interview. What do you do? Run away, how embarrassing. And it's crest popping. Yuck it up. Woohoo, I'm on TV. I'd never do the bottom one. I'm not that kind of person. I'd probably just try and avoid it. I'm no good at answering questions under pressure. So I would pretty much, like, avoid it. Like, no, I can't. Sorry. Do you like lively parties? <sighs> it depends if I'm, like, want to be there. I mean, there are some lively parties where you just, you don't feel comfortable. Uh, I do like a more, like, relaxed and laid-back party. So, yeah, no. No, thank you. The people at the next table are singing for someone's birthday. What do you do? Stay on the sidelines, sing along, or walk away. I mean, if you're doing it in, like, a restaurant or something, and they expect everyone to do it, then, yeah, I'll just say it. I'd, I'd sing along. Sure, why not? You're in a completely silent assembly when you hear someone pass gas. How do you react? Was this a question in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Is this seriously a question from that game? Series? Surely everyone wants to know, who did that? Who was that? Who was that? I was... Who did that? Do you like karaoke? I am a terrible singer, so no. <laughs> That's nice and easy. <laughs> do you prefer to play outside rather than inside? I mean, what does a VTuber do? I mean, seriously. I mean, yeah, you can go outside, but... A lot of the fun stuff is inside for me. That's just the curse of being an introvert. I just realized something. Hold on a sec. I don't want to be in low light mode, please. <laughs> I ain't in low light mode. Getting myself in the center of the camera is really annoying. <laughs> How do I set up the camera right? Oh, sorry, should hide that. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of annoying. Uh, 
how do I do this again? I'm forgetting how to do stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. Low light compensation. I don't need no low light compensation. I want that frame rate up to a nice round 30 frames per second, thank you very much. And again, I forget to do that. Ugh. Honestly, X splits so much nicer for stuff like this. I'm glad I at least learned how to do transitions between frames now. Anyway, back to the quiz. I prefer to play inside rather than outside. You see a big and comfortable bed. Your first reaction is to belly flop, of course. Who doesn't want a belly flop? If you jump on it, you're going to break it. You're going to ruin the mattress. But if you just do a belly flop, it's just like, yeah, just like you get to feel that first instance of the comfort if it's comfortable. You're hiking up a mountain when you reach diverging paths. Which do you take, the narrow one or the wide one? Isn't this also a situational thing? I can't help but feel that this is a very situational thing you have to do. I mean... You'd want comfort, right? I mean, I'm not necessarily claustrophobic or anything, but... Yeah, we'll go wide. Discover a beat-up looking treasure chest in some ruins. What do you do? Um... So literally either choice is opening it. It's just whether you involve other people or not. I ain't weak. I ain't a weak person. I ain't a weak boy. I'm opening it. Your friend takes a spectacular fall. What do you do? I'd probably do both. <laughs> I'd probably do both. Probably have a bit of a snicker and then just after them. You need help? Yeah, I'll help you. You're daydreaming when your friend sprays you with water. What do you do? Get mad, get sad, or woohoo, what a fight! Um, I can't really say I'd get mad. The only time I've ever get mad at being splashed is like when you're like walking somewhere and a and a like a truck or something deliberately drives through a puddle and like soaks you. That's the only time I would get mad. I mean, how can we say water fight when I don't even have anything water to wise to fight with? I don't think it's very fair. <gasps> oh no, I'm hiding. Honestly, when I take the glasses off, the eye tracking is perfectly responsive. The curse of having glasses, and I can't see properly without them, so I really can't do it like this. Maybe laser eye surgery, maybe some glasses without clear, without like dark frames maybe would help. I've just got to make do, I guess. It's so annoying, though. Anyway, uh... Woohoo, what a fight! <laughs> Have you ever thought that if you dug up your back in your backyard, you could find buried treasure? Um, you could probably find the dead pets, and I don't think anyone wants to find their dead pets. That's kind of morbid, I apologize. No, I didn't think I'd find buried treasure. I didn't even have a garden anymore. Now I live in an apartment. Have you ever told a joke that just completely fell flat? Absolutely. Absolutely. It always feels so embarrassing when that happens. Hey, what's that? There's someone behind you. So, did you look just now? <laughs> huh? What? This is such a random question. I wouldn't do that. Your friend has made a meal that tastes terrible. They ask, how is it you say... I think just smiling seems to be like the natural middle ground. <laughs> you run into a new person that you haven't talked to very much before. What do you do? Make small talk, say nothing, or make an excuse to get away. Probably make small talk. Good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Well, the bad news, of course. I want something good to perk me up afterwards, potentially. 
Have you ever realized you were hogging the conversation? Uh, I'm not the kind of person who hogs conversations. That's always other people, not me. I'm normally the one getting shafted, you know? That's just how it happens sometimes. Yeah. I want to move a bit closer to my, me, my computer. There you go. That's better. I know, no, because I never do hug the conversation. It's always being hugged from me. And then when someone asks, oh, what were you going to say? And I'm just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. When you see a switch, do you feel an overwhelming urge to flip it? Not so much. Unless I had a big sign that says, like, do not flip. Or, you know, I take no responsibility for what happens when you flip this switch or something. So I'd say no. You find something at a great bargain price. What do you do? Um, I think about whether I need it. Sometimes. <laughs> You're packing your classroom snacks for a picnic when you get hungry. What do you do? <laughs> um, either a tiny bit, hold myself back, or eat there in my belly. Um, I'd probably hold myself back. Do you want to be taller someday? No, I want to be smaller. I'm too tall. I don't like being this tall. Do you think it's important to always have to aim to be the best? No, so long as I can, like, do enough to get by. I'm more than satisfied with that. I don't have big lofty goals like other people do. I'm happy where I am, mostly. I mean, it's, it, it can be a good motivator, sure. But I don't really think you have to be the very best. You just need to be the best you you can be. And that's really all you can be, really. If you're willing to push yourself the extra mile to be the very best, then good luck to you. I wish you luck. Have you ever looked at your reflection in a mirror and thought, what a cool person? Well, no, not really. <laughs> no, no, I'd never have thought that. If you saw someone doing something bad, could you scold them? Scold is a strong word. I'd probably tell them you shouldn't do that. That's not good. You really shouldn't do that. Unless it was doing something really bad, like trying to unplug life support for someone who needed it. I think that's really the only instance I'd actually scold someone. Because, you know, that's just shit's just wrong, man. You don't do that. How did a question in a Pokemon quiz result in that sort of morbid, qu morbid answer? Oh, my God. No, I don't think I could. Do you prefer to be busy or to have a lot of free time? I mean, free time? Busy when you're at work, so it goes quicker, sure. But I think a nice in-between balance is probably good. You're about to buy a popular game when someone else gets the last copy. How do you feel? I'd probably shed a few tears. <laughs> oh, I'm so, 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 I can't believe I missed it. I really wanted it. <laughs> You notice that the toy you bought for full price yesterday is marked down to half price today. How would you feel? I feel like bad timing, I guess. <laughs> Your friend is running a little late to meet you. Is that okay? Yeah, I, I understand that. I mean, my family does have a tendency to run a little late a lot of the time. You know, there's always someone holding everyone, holding the group back when we're desperate to get out of the house. So, you know, I don't mind the other people being fashionably late. That's what they call it, right? When you're only a little late, fashionably late. You just stuff yourself with a good meal when a great dessert arrives. What do you do? Eat it. Who cares if I'm stuffed? Turn it down. It's too fattening. Yum. I love dessert the most. Eh, I guess it depends. I, I love dessert the most. Dessert is no lovely. You have a really important test tomorrow. What do you do? Study all night long. Wing it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Test. I think I have a fever. Uh, um. I guess I was tendency to wing it. I could never do an all-nighter studying. I'd literally fall asleep after a couple of hours, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> wing it. I'm sure it'll be fine. You've been invited to a wonderful party. It's time for the party to start, but there's nobody there, you think? 
Did something happen? Maybe I had the wrong day wrong? Or I think I'd probably think that one, actually. Oh, you think so, huh? Wait, why is... Why is my Twitch not working? Oh, it's there. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> I, s I mean, we'll see anyone. We'll see. I think, you know, maybe I have the day wrong. Do you think that no matter what life goes on? Well, of course it does. Time is always moving. The phone's ringing. What do you do? I gotta admit, if I don't recognize the number on the caller ID, I just ignore it and let it ring. I'm one of those people. I don't expect anyone to be giving me phone calls. It just happens, just happens to be the case. Your friends seem to be making plans to hang out just out of earshot, you think? Well, I think will they invite me, I guess. I don't expect to be invited, but, you know, it'd be nice if, you know, someone wanted to. I mean, the last time someone wanted to invite us to something, we actually couldn't do it with all of us. So, we, you know, we ended up being, like, told, ah, oh, sorry, you can't come after all. And that hurt. It really did. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you should have planned this better. Don't invite someone and then just say, ah, oh, sorry, actually, we can't bring you. Sorry. It's like, it's, it still hurts. Do you want to be famous? I'm never going to be famous. Never. But if I, if I were to want to be famous, I would. But, you know, I know that's not realistic. <laughs> You've been handed a large bag as a souvenir. What do you think? Wait until I get home, shake it, open it. It's smaller than everyone else's. <laughs> that's kind of weird. I can't help it. I've always been pessimistic. I've always been introverted. I've always been... I'm not great, okay? That's just my personality, and I think that might reflect. I'm expecting lonely nature in the results for this quiz, let's be honest. I mean, of course I'm going to open it. Why would they give it me if I'm not to open it? <laughs> Have you ever forgotten you bought something and bought another one? Have I ever done that? I've had gifts gifted to me that I already had, but I don't think that's what this is asking. Yeah, when I did it on tw when I did the results on Twitter, that was the short one. I don't think I have ever actually bought another one. Not from recent memory, anyway. Once you've decided something, do you see it through to the end? No. <laughs> Especially when it's when it comes out, it's like, nah, it's not actually gonna happen, you know. You've gotta just do what you can. Have you ever said nice to meet you to someone you've met previously? Recent memory, I don't think I have. I might have done that once. Oh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Oh dear, I guess I have done now, haven't I? So I guess I gotta click yes. <laughs> Did you make any New Year's resolution? No. No. I have not. Nope. No. I'm sure there's lots of things I could resolve to do, but I'd never follow through. Do you think it's important to be fashionably late? I mean, ideally, you don't want to be late, but you don't want to be on time and have to be waiting, do you? I can't say I do think it's important to be fashionably late. If you set a time, you should try and get there on time. You've won big on a raffle ticket, you say. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't. Do you think blaming something you did on someone else is sometimes necessary? That's only if you want to self-preserve. Which sometimes I do. I do want to, like, throw the blame on someone else. That makes me sound terrible, but I don't like people being mad at me and shouting at me and stuff. It just makes me, like... Like, you know that meme, like, the, the 
the the guy in it, the, like that little blob in the box, and he's like, hmm, maybe I'll go outside today. And then, you know, they try and go out, and then they get punched, and then they just go back in. It's like, I think you can feel safe here. That's literally me. <laughs> Your friends suddenly won't listen to you when everything was fine yesterday. What happened? Maybe they're sick. They're lost in thought. What? Why? Um... I think they just have a lot of on their plate, and I don't really want to be that one to overly, like, pry into that stuff. That's their business, not mine. But if it's nothing big, then, you know, I will actually want to know if something's wrong. Ah, quick drink. No, I think we're about halfway through the quiz now. Maybe timing it for an hour probably wasn't the best. The best. I can see that, anyone actually. I can see that from what I from what I know of you. I can totally see that. You take off your shoes to realize your socks are two different colors. What do you do? I guess I'd get embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can have like black socks and dark navy blue socks, and you can sometimes mix those up. Especially when the colors start to fade. It, it, they start looking similar. You fail miserably. Everyone found out and they're disappointed in you. What do you do? Try and hide. <laughs> I don't want everyone to be staring and being upset with me. I hate that. Have you accidentally ever called a teacher mom or dad? No. I have never done that ever. I ain't judging people who actually have done that, you know? I mean, teachers are meant to be like a parental model, to, in a sense, aren't they, to be honest? They are literally your guardians for the time you're at school, so... You know, I can understand people doing that. Have you ever blurted something out without thinking about the consequences first? Yes, and then immediately regretted it after saying it. If anyone's never done that, then they have much more self-control than I do. <laughs> Excuse me. You're in class when you realize that you really have to go to the restroom. What do you do? Well, I asked for permission to leave. I'm not going to just wait. I can't hold it. <laughs> I mean, I have been good at holding, holding it in. But yeah, if you really need to go, you have to ask, don't you? Even if it's during class, you know, they can excuse, they can excuse you. They can understand the situation and the circumstances. Your friend offers to treat you to dinner. What do you do? Uh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> you see a cake that is past its expiration date, but only by one day. What do you do? You know what I tend to find? If the cake is fine, if it's a bit stale, just like put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds and it softens it right up again. That's what I do. That's how you can soften a cake if it's, like, a little bit out of date. Think about it briefly, then decide. It's no problem. Just put it in the microwave for a quick blast. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. You're eating at a very fancy restaurant known for its food. What course do you select? See, it's steak, healthy fish, anything. It's all good. Steak. I am a steak man. Whenever we go out for a meal at a pub or something, I always have the steak. Yum, 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 yum. Tasty steak. Oh, we did it already. Wow, that's that didn't take so long. You seem to be the quirky type. Huh? You want to be on the cutting edge of fashion? No, I don't. <laughs> you want to own all the latest stuff. Well, I guess that part is true. <laughs> but you grow bored of your old things and only like new things. You're true to your emotions and you follow your desires. Is that really what the quiz seemed to say about me, though? <laughs> People have a hard time keeping up with you because you change so quickly. Uh, you may want to reflect upon how your words and actions affect others. So a quirky type like you seem to be 
to be fair, I'm only slightly more quirky than relaxed, so I guess that kind of makes sense. You seem to be a Squirtle or a Piplup. Ha! No Bidoo for me! <laughs> Shows what you know, anyone? I mean, that was very interesting. Where is Lonely on here, anyway? I'm actually not very lonely at all. <laughs> Weird, huh? I might have answered one question too many quirky types, and that probably was why it is like this. So if you want to, uh, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna share the link to the quiz. So there's the quiz. I'll I'll share the link on YouTube and stuff. Oi. Oi, that's not very nice. I don't look like a bit oof. I look a lot more like one of those more like I look I think my hair in particular makes me look m m more like a Ralts. Or something like that, you know? I don't really approve of you saying I look like a beedoof, though. I, I respectfully, I respect your opinion, but I wholeheartedly disagree with you. It's in German. Oh, because you, you live in Germany, right? I, I see. I see. Well, that was the uh, Pokemon personality quiz. A lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. I guess I did go through one or two of those questions rather quickly. But yeah, um, it was nice for you to start by anyone, but as you know, I'm probably going to be playing Pokemon Scarlet now. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad you arrived for the quiz at least. So, uh, okay, I think we shall uh, move on now. I'll be back in a second, guys, and Pokemon Scarlet will be shortly, so stick around.